So welcome back to uh, OWF11. Uh, you're on Ontelian TV. Uh, here with us are uh, Pierre, pardon, Pierre Gauffier from uh, Airbus and uh, Gaël Blondel from uh, OBO. Yes, thank you. Uh, welcome. welcome. Welcome to OWF. Uh, so maybe to start with, uh, I mean, this, this is going to be a debate about a project called OPs. Mm -hmm. So maybe you could uh, tell us a bit more in the audience about what OPs is. Yes, OPIS is a European project created to to instantiate a, a long term a long term entity for long term support and uh, tooling for the embedded software. And uh, tool so we are we have three years we had three years to implement it. Now we are in the implementation phase, and in the next uh, in the next. So 18 months, we will implement it, and so uh, that's why we start talking of it because uh, that's now now it happens. Okay. So, and what was the reason behind the launch of the project? In fact, in the in the past 15 years, we faced more and more problem uh, related to um, uh, obsolescence and the uh, disappearance, in fact, of uh, software tools. For example, uh, we are using compilers to uh, uh, develop uh, the software of the A320. And uh, a few years ago, we found uh, we found a bug in it, but uh, nobody was uh, still there to uh, to maintain and uh, fix this bug. No company, nothing, no, nobody. So that. Unfortunately, this situation is quite uh, frequent for us, and we had to find another way to work uh, on the very long term. So that we switch to open source with projects like Top Topcase, uh, which uh, aim to develop uh, an open source uh, engineering environment. And uh, from this experience, we know that we need to go further and to organize, in fact, a kind of ecosystem around this uh, this uh, this open source uh, tool set. That's why we started OPIS. Okay, so you, you would say that actually open source has uh, made, has made the, the, without open source, the project wouldn't have seen the light of day. It's you're right, you're right. Because the, the objective of OPIS is to provide very long-term support for tooling across the whole life cycle of an aircraft. And the life cycle of an aircraft is uh, almost 80 years. Or the whole life cycle of a satellite is it's around uh, 20 to 25 years. So the fact is that when you need very long-term support for, uh, for a tool or for a uh, software, proprietary software is not an option. Because proprietary software does not offer very long-term support. I mean long-term support for more than 10 years. So. It becomes obsolete after a while. Yes. So the only option, the only option today is to implement it with open source software. And with open source software, you have the, you have several open source has several good qualities, good properties to to enable uh, such uh, such very long term support. First one, you have the the fact that uh, from the beginning you you solve uh, intellectual property issues. At least you fix, you, you, you give the intellectual property rules. So you mean you set them yourself? You set them, yes, you set them. Did you have, by the way, did you have any intellectual property problems ahead of the launch of the project? Was that kind of, did that push you also into choosing open source? Or well, the, the simple t type of case that we, we, we face uh, is the following one. You are using a tool, you want to distribute this tool to one of your providers. But in fact, the company who uh, was used to, um, uh, to uh, sell this tool simply disappeared so that you cannot ask for a new license. You cannot uh, ask for uh, a new condition, in fact, to distribute this tool. This, this is one of the, the, the problems we, we faced. I mean, it's impressive to see how open source, how far it has gone, because in the beginning we were scared to take it just to power our email servers on an open source mm -hmm. tool. And now, I mean, it's... It's, we talk about some of the most mm. I think sensitive that, uh, yes. implementations. He, today we, we, we have a track about open source for the industry. And uh, because uh, I think that in the coming years, open source will uh, go out of the information technology uh, IT teams to, to, the, to the industry. And we, are, we start with the tooling, but I think that the next steps will be uh, 
uh, middleware and uh, and the next steps uh, after that will be open hardware and you can imagine uh, open hardware in, uh, in automotive or something like that and things that it really... The first step, I guess, like big industrial, we had the Facebook's open hardware, open... Uh yeah, okay. Okay, you don't seem that... <laughs> no, 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 but uh, Facebook, it. <laughs> it's still uh, the technology. It's still uh, the internet and so on. Uh, uh, in OPs, we focus on uh, solving issues for uh, industry players. So in, tra in transportation, in energy, in uh, healthcare. So Do you have anything more specific to tell us about what you are actually offering? Uh, well, so we are in an implementation phase. And uh, in the next uh, six months, we, we are implementing uh, OPs in as an industrial working group inside the Eclipse Foundation. So the, go the, good, uh, the good aspect is that um, Eclipse defined, uh, defines the industrial working groups, and industrial working groups are groups of, uh, of members, of Eclipse members, focusing on industrial is issues. So as, as we are a group of industrial members focusing on such industrial issues, we are, we are creating uh, the industrial working group and uh, we will address uh, very long-term support and uh, other very specific issues to embed, it, like, uh, to embed software like qualification and certification of software in this working group. And uh, is how, how, lo how big is the group so far? I mean... Well, it is still difficult to say, but the ITA project itself, OPIS, uh, gather something like uh, 30 members. 30, me 30 members, yes. Uh, through the whole Europe, so there are people from uh, Sweden, Spain, uh, France, Belgium. Uh, who am I? Uh, we are five. Norway. Yes, Norway. Norway. How about France? <laughs> yeah, yeah. How many in France? Um, quite a lot, in fact, I think. Big players are the CNES, Astrium, Thales, Airbus. So we've got all the big shots on board. Yeah. We hope so, we need them. <laughs> so uh, about, about your offering, would you, do you have anything, uh, would you have more details on anything about? First, first point is to, to put in place an infrastructure for, uh, to, to share the build infrastructure for the very long term support. So to have a, a sort of uh, neutral so third-party infrastructure in operated by the Eclipse Foundation to, um, to do the build and the test and uh, the support in the long term. So you should know that today Eclipse softwares, for example, uh, are, are supported for uh, nine months by the community. But uh, thi with this uh, common infrastructure, we start with, uh, to address uh, the first 10 years. And then uh, we are working to, to define how we address uh, support after the 10 years, from uh, the 10 years to 40 years, for example. So th this, is, this is the thing that you're focusing the most on, just to have long-term support and... That's our... Uh, Which is the actual That's benefit, the first actually. objective. Yeah. Then. It's an objective and a benefit at the same time. Yes. Okay, so uh, just, just to close things up, uh, maybe for, for our audience, so what would you, would you have a say about, a takeaway about open source in industrial spaces, outside technology? Mm -hmm. You're positive it's going to take on the world. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, it, it took uh, 20 years for uh, open source to to be everywhere in the technology uh, industry, in the IT and, uh, and uh, new technologies. And I think that it will take uh, less to, to conquer all the, all, the industry, uh, all the industry space, I guess. It has the already established the base. The key, point, the key point is probably to solve IP aspect, I yes. think, legal aspects. So the takeaway out of this debate is that the IP aspects are going to be the, the major challenge. IP and long-term support. IP and long-term support. So thank you very much for uh, being with us. Thank you. You're welcome. Hope you're having a good stay at OWF. So thank you all for watching and see you soon at, uh, on Intellian TV. Thank you. <laughs>